Well, she's a bloody nice day for it. We're just going to cruise up the side of the river here and see if we can catch a fish to put in our smoker. We just got a couple of smoking units from Smoke Eye. I'm going to give one away and keep one for myself. I'm not too sure what kind of competition we'll run for it, but we'll run some kind of competition to win the smoke eye or maybe even a lucky dip. Oh, I was wondering. That's it, keep winding, that's it, you got it, nice. Awesome. Oh, don't pull it up, don't pull it right up, it might snap. Okay. What sort of trout is it? Brown trout. Nice, hold it up so we can see it. Hold it right up. Oh, it's a goodie. Sweet. I'm just going to gut this one and then we'll move upstream and see if we can catch another one. Alright, so when we're gutting the trout, it's quite important to scrape this red layer of blood off its black bone off its backbone and that's what gives it the muddy taste so well, after you've gutted it scrape all that red stuff off all that black stuff give it a good wash remove the gills as well and then we're ready for the smoker all right we're just going to see what this thing has been eating squeeze it out and squeeze out see what the insects are in there squeeze them out of that cup whoop what's that fish cockabully oh it's been eating a cockabully anything else in there any insects Oh, what are those? Hold those up. What is that thing? They belong to the, co the cockabully's guts. Oh, cockabully guts. Or is it a crab? What is that? Crab, I think. Oh, no, it's, it's, oh, it's, uh... An insect. Grasshopper? Oh, a cicada. What is it? Cicada? Uh-huh. Water eel freshly caught. Alright, so I'm not sure if you saw that, but we just caught a trout and then a couple of eels come up, so we whacked the trout in the water, it <coughs> grabbed onto the trout, and pulled him out. Now we've got two trout and an eel for our smoke eye smoker. Three trout. Three oh no, two trout. Oh. Two trout. Now we're gonna go home now and smoke them up. A pretty successful morning. That's some steady camera work there, Jack. Yeah. Let's see what this guy's been eating, eh? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, boy! Awesome, mate. Big eel, eh? <laughs> Not too big, good eating size, that one. Yep. He's coming up, he's having a sniff. He's having a sniff. He's down there somewhere. Well, there he is, here's his head. Oh, he's going to grab onto it. Let's let him grab it first. Whoa. Pull him out. Oh, oh, you got the trout. Ah, oh, he's got the trout. Bugger. <laughs> we had to catch another trout, eh? Oh, well, I guess we traded a trout for an eel. That's a fair trade. We're just standing in some hound's tongue here. Have a taste, buddy. Should taste like lettuce. Have a taste. Tastes like lettuce. What do you reckon? Probably need some meat to go with that, eh? So there it is. Here, smoke pick... eye smoked meat. Smoke eye smoked meat. Grab a bit, buddy. Rip a bit off and hold it up to the camera so we can see what it looks like. Whoa! I better be careful washing my hands in the river. What? We were walking down the top of the stop bank and I saw a couple of eels and I went, Jack, check it out, there's a couple of eels down there. And then we re re realized they were eating the trout that we'd lost further upstream. So they've taken it out, brought it downstream here. It's looking pretty mangled. They've ripped the skin off, all the ribs are eaten and showing. So I don't think we'll be able to smoke it and eat it. We might chuck it back in. I managed to foul hook it with the rod to bring it back up. So we're down to one and a half trout and one eel. But that's pretty good. I think we'll go home and check that new smoke eye out. Works. We might buff this back into the eels, eh? Sweet.
We've now had our trout and our eel air drying overnight. They've been brining for about 10 hours and then I took them out of the brine and just hung them up to dry overnight, which is quite important for cold smoking. I'm just going to put those to the side here and we are going to get our smoking unit, which I've built out of Western Red Cedar with our smoke eye, smoke eye smoking thing on the side, I don't know why, the smoke eye smoker. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty simple. You fill this up with sawdust, turn your little pump on, light it on the sides, and Bob's your uncle. And today I'm going to be using a blend of hickory chips, which Smoke Eye have sent me, Manuka wood chip, which Smoke Eye have also sent me, and a wee bit of Western Red Cedar, which I scored off my mate Danny Hunt from down the road. So cheers, Danny. This is hopefully going to work a treat. And now I'm going to stuff the smoke eye unit full of sawdust, we'll fire it up, put the fish in the smoking box, and then leave it there for half the day. Wait, Mum. So stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Open right up. Open it. Open it. Oh, that smells good. Smells good, does it? Let's have a look in there, eh? I'm looking at the hot dogs. 